We're back up here at the top of 360, at the top of Grandview. Seth, I'm looking at the views. Does it ever get old? It really doesn't. Every time I start my day coming up here, looking out that way, taking a deep breath, and it's hard to have a bad day. So on a super busy day, right? You know, the pub down, down at the base lodge, you can get kind of busy, but that's not always the case up here. No, definitely not. So we like to get more people to come up this way, kind of spread out, get some different food. A lot of people, you know, don't even realize we have a restaurant up in here. So when you see the flags flying out front and the smoker running, come on up and get some brisket or a burger and cocktail from us. Yeah, we really can't show the smells, but it's really unfair. You're on the you're on the chairlift, right? You're getting off and you're like, oh, that smells good. So let's talk about the menu one more time. Let's talk about what's on the menu and talk about the options uh, for the platters that, you know, it, say you've got a couple of people or three people uh, you want to mix and match. How does it work? Yeah, it's great for uh, a group of people because you get a choice of two meats and a couple different sides. And we have pulled chicken, we got pulled pork, we have brisket, um, we got ribs, we got sides like our uh, jalapeno maple glazed cornbread, we have our deep fried green beans, onion rings, mac and cheese, chili. We really have a lot of options. You it's can mix tough to go wrong with mac <laughs> and cheese, right? I mean. It is. I like to mix the mac and cheese and the chili. It's a yeah. little secret we have up here. Okay, so we've got some cocktails here as well, right? Yeah. The bar downstairs has the same views of the lake, right? Yep. So what can you get at the bar as well? Um, so at the bar, we're really famous for our Bloody Marys. As you can see, that one right there all stacked up with all the goods. Um, those are fan favorite, especially in the morning because it's practically breakfast too. Uh, we also got our margarita over here, which is another fan favorite. People come and get these by the dozens. Um, and we really can make anything down there. We have canned beers such as Modelo. We have canned cocktails from Cutwater. Yeah. We got a couple beers on tap like 805 Sierra Nevada. Uh, we got Lagunitas, all kinds of stuff up there. We were talking about entertainment starting in February. Yeah. On Wednesdays, right? Mm -hmm. So. Tell me, what's all that about? And, and where is the entertainment? Is it downstairs uh, in, in the bar area or is it up here on the deck? So starting February 1st, we're gonna kick off our Wild Wild Wednesdays. It is a kind of Wild West theme dance party up here on the roof, as long as weather permits. Now that the sun's come back out and we see a little bit of break in the weather, we're gonna be having some fun up here, enjoying the sunshine and all these great views. Right, we didn't see much sun uh, beginning of January, the end of December. So it's nice to finally get some here. And the ski conditions right now, oh my God, unbelievable. Backcountry gates just opened. Uh, oh, yeah. Skiing and riding is great. Half pipe, uh, you know, here. First one in Tahoe, I believe. Uh, yeah, so, they're cutting that up. Uh, cutting it up. So again, for everyone kind of watching and tuning in, uh, when do you open? When do you close? Because obviously the lifts close at a certain time, right? So yeah. if the lifts aren't open, you can't come up and join someone. Yeah, so we're gonna open every day at 10 o'clock. We're gonna start serving food and drinks right then. And then we close every day at three o'clock, just so everyone can get down safely with the mountain closes. But luckily, when you get down the mountain, the pub starts their happy hour at three o'clock. So if you miss us, you can meet us down there. All right, so with all this food here, and it all looks delicious, what's your favorite? I'm a big fan of the 360 burger. Yeah. It's a nice classic burger, but it's got that big old onion ring and slab of brisket on top. Really everything that you could ask for. Seth, thank you so much for taking the time. Looks great here. Uh, food and beverage operations doing a great job up here. And hopefully the resort's best kept secret doesn't remain that way for much longer. Yeah, come on up and uh, get some of our barbecue.